So we're going to pull this fan off and replace it with our new modified twin blower and uh, see how we go. So we've just undone the, uh, the two mounting screws and pull that off and then we want to undo the fan in the back here and we'll reuse that. So we've undone the inside fan which we're going to reuse and this fan we're not. So I'm just going to snip the wires, just going to snip them, take them off and then we are going to re-solder all these wires together and we're going to undo these two screws and we're fitting this cowling over here and remounting this fan onto the cowling so it's still blowing and this will give it more direction as well straight over that head which all looks sort of snap on looks pretty good okay and I've got um, longer screws longer screws are going in here so we have the head off and we're just sliding the new housing down and Push that up a wee bit, just line our holes up, fits perfect, nice fit. So we have the new housing bolted on and then I'll just, I'll just adjust the height on these sliders now and then tighten it all up and I've got, I've got Loctite on these two slider bolts and I've got Loctite on the two head bolts. I've just wound all my red to red and black to black and now I'll give them a quick solder and I'll put a wee bit of um, heat shrink over the top and then I'll hot glue the um, wires to the case and it should be very tidy. So I've got my joints soldered up and I'll just stick some uh, shrink heat shrink over there Okay, so we're all mounted up, and when I turn the um, controller on, the centre fan should fire up. It's working. And then if I go into my settings, and I go to control and temperature, and go to fan speed which is zero and the fans aren't going so I'll turn the fans up and that's it and they both kick in and I'm at 120 they sound quite quiet so I'll turn them up to 255 which is max and they're both going flat out and that is yeah that is really good air go back into control temperature Fan speed and I'll turn the fans right down and they should go off and there we are both working perfectly looks good so I used um, 
some M3 screws and nylock nuts so there's two M3 screws, long ones, longer ones there and on the head I used two longer M3s on the head and then these four fans were um, four original screws that were uh, off the housing somewhere and it's uh, pretty much it, any other screws I were um, there's a couple of screws in the back for the adjusting. I just used screws that were lying around um, that came off when I undid it. But the um, the print of the housing is very very uh, good tolerances. The fans just slip in. Um, I'll put some links on to where I bought the fans from and where I got the um, printable pieces off Thingiverse because there were two, two different sites to make the one controller up. So, I'll get back, I've uh, got a project to print off, which uh, at the moment I'm making the um, parabolic, parabolic gears, and I've got one more uh, primary gear you could say, and then um, the holders to do, so hopefully I'll have that finished tomorrow and uh, it's looking great interesting to see if the um, if the new fan does a slightly cleaner job or not there's, because um, there's no screw on the right hand side there's a little bit of a little bit of flop so right at this crack in here, right down in there, um, where you can see the back plate. I'm just going to put a wee blob of hot glue in there. Um, probably in the, one on the bottom and one on the, at the top just to um, keep any vibrations, keep it solid so it doesn't crack off. And it should be good. So now you can see I've got a little bit of hot glue in there and there's no there's no more movement in that fan. That's that's gone rock solid now. I'm happy with that? That's great. So this is the uh, new dual fan working and as you can see the the center fan is higher and um, which is leaving the, the head here more exposed whereas before it was blowing cold air onto that head assembly and now it's um, blowing the cold air through the fins and uh, I've got more direct airflow on the nozzle 